from the WYLN studios in Hazleton and all over northeastern Pennsylvania, this is WYLN News. Good evening and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. He tried to break into a house through a window, but was caught by police this morning in Hazleton. This is 28-year-old Randy Pagaro. Hazleton police say they were called to the 400 block of South Poplar Street for a male attempting to gain entry into a home through a first floor window. Officers attempted to detain him. He was given numerous orders to comply. He refused and a physical altercation ensued. The individual was physically removed from inside the window, according to police. Pagario was taken into custody and found to be in possession of heroin and marijuana. He was charged with burglary, criminal trespass, resisting arrest, possession of a controlled substance, possession of marijuana, and disorderly conduct. Pagario was arraigned by Judge Malloy, who set bail at $20,000. He is now behind bars tonight. This morning, Hazleton re police responded to reports of gunshots in the area of Cedar and Green Streets. Police found two men in a nearby white Toyota Sienna, and the front passenger was identified as Juan Arias Moya, 35 years old. When they approached, they observed Moya place something by his foot. That was soon identified as the barrel of a revolver. He was taken into police custody. The gun recovered. The driver of the vehicle also taken in for investigation. It was discovered at police headquarters. Moya had a laceration to the back of his head. He was treated at Lehigh Valley Hospital, Hazleton. Charges against him include firearms not to be carried without a license, public drunkenness, and disorderly conduct. State police are investigating a home invasion, robbery, and aggravated assault in Schuylkill County. According to state police, just after three Monday morning, two men entered the home of a 73-year-old man in Tremont. Investigators say they struck the man with a metal object, causing injury to his eye and face. They then bound him with duct tape and robbed him. The man was taken to the hospital for his injuries. Police are still looking for the two men they say were involved in that assault. And if you have any information, you're asked to call police in Schuylkill County. Police arrested 55-year-old Floyd Powell and his son, 34-year-old Flo Floyd Powell III, on heroin dealing charges in Plymouth over the weekend. The Luzerne County Drug Task Force issued an informant to purchase heroin from Powell III at his home on Eno Street in Plymouth several times prior to the raid on the residence there Sunday morning. Police say they seized more than 1,700 packets of heroin worth $14,000, nearly 11,000 in cash, and a handgun with a serial number rubbed off. The, elderly, the elder Powell had been caught with several bags of heroin back in July during a traffic stop to which he said they were intended to be sold to a friend. Charges were not filed at the time, but now are. Powell III is currently locked up in the Luzerne County Prison, bail set at $300,000. The elder Powell paid his $50,000 bail. An 11-year-old from Luzerne County was selling candy bars in Wilkesbury along Old River Road as a fundraiser when they told police two older boys stole the entire box, which contained an envelope filled with cash. Police have arrested and charged the two teens. Their names have not yet been released. After a DUI crash last year that took the life of 38-year-old Jane Seitz, Christopher Turpak of Kingston has been sentenced to 8 to 16 months in the Luzerne County Prison. Seitz was Turpak's longtime girlfriend and the mother of his two children. He had pleaded guilty back in August to homicide by vehicle and driving under the influence for the incident in August of 2016. Turpak and Seitz were traveling to a friend's house after a charity event when Turpak drove the SUV off the road and into a tree. Judge Amesbury said it was an agonizing decision to make. There were a lot of factors in the man's favor, but a life was still lost. Turpak will begin his sentence December 27th. 
A vacant building along Darling Street in Wilkes-Barre caught fire and damaged what was intended to become a rental property. A man was working inside the home when the fire started. He got out okay. Wilkes-Barre's assistant fire chief, Alan Clappett, said the fire started inside the building and extended through the exterior of the home. The cause not yet known at this time. Coming up on WILN News, municipalities are still working on budgets. Plus, lawmakers in the state are getting a pay raise. But first, as we head out to break, let's take a look at your seven-day forecast from the WILN Weather Center. Remember, you can get all your weather information at WILNTV.com. We'll be right back. Chur's Auto Sales has been serving the area with quality vehicles since 1954. Chur's Auto Sales is known as your friendly dealer and now in their fourth generation and voted the best used car dealer by the readers of Standard Speaker Choice Awards. John Chur would like to thank everyone that voted for his business. When you need a quality pre-owned vehicle, choose from a large selection at Chur's 570-454-7229. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Finally, a car buying experience where it's quick, transparent, and you're set for life. At Hazelton Honda, every new vehicle purchased includes a lifetime warranty, lifetime oil and filter changes, lifetime car washes, lifetime loaner vehicles, lifetime state inspections, and Sunday Express service. A gigantic selection to choose from. Always amazing prices. Courteous and expert sales staff. Convenient store hours. Discover the joy of buying at Hazelton Honda, where you are set for life. The chairman of Hazelton's Blighted Property Review Committee has officially informed City Council that he's resigning from the position. WILN's Maria Sente has more on the story. At the last Hazelton City Council meeting, local resident Mark Rabo announced his resignation from the city's Blighted Property Review Committee. I will have no other choice but to tender my resignation as chairman of the Blighted Property Review Committee because of non-availability non, uh, of funds. Rabo confirmed his resignation through an email he sent to all Hazelton City Council members Sunday night. Rabo served as the committee's chairman. I feel uh, disappointed and um, a little bit uh, saddened about the uh, outcome. Rabo says the reasoning behind his decision to resign is twofold. He says the city has not provided the committee with the funds needed to advertise and function, and the mayor of Hazleton has restricted a solicitor from attending meetings. Rabo says the committee cannot legally address issues of blight in Hazleton without a solicitor present at meetings. He says an official meeting cannot be held without proper advertisement. Without the funding for the advertisements and for the solicitor, we are un unable to meet. And uh, we even had one of our committee members pay out of his own pocket. Uh, Councilman Dave Sosar paid out of his own pocket for the last two advertisements. Uh, of the meetings. Rabo says without a functioning blighted property committee, the Hazelton Redevelopment Authority cannot legally remove, help sell, or attain funds to fix up blighted properties. Those options cannot be exercised by the Redevelopment Authority without going through the process as per the Pennsylvania Redevelopment Law. Hazelton Mayor Jeff Cassatt has proposed selling municipal authority assets or increasing property taxes by 40 percent to balance the 2018 budget. Rabo says increasing property taxes would only expand the problem of blight. He suggests going after delinquent taxes on properties like St. Joseph Medical Center in Hazelton to generate that revenue instead. I understand it's a one-time collection, but wouldn't that plug any kind of deficit uh, better than a property tax increase that would harm 
the existing uh, homeowners. Brabo says one study shows that Hazleton has the second biggest blight problem in Luzerne County. He says having an active blight committee is critical to help discourage blight and improve the quality of life throughout the city. In Hazleton, for WILN News, I'm Maria Sinti. Residents of Banks Township will not see a property tax hike if the 2018 budget is approved. A spending plan was approved earlier this month that keeps property taxes at 1.15 mills. The township is expected to carry over $40,000 in 2018, but that's down from the $65,000 in 2017. And it's still up in the air as to whether $28,000 will go to the Hazleton Police Department for on-call police coverage. If the deal doesn't go through, the money will be used for other projects. The $5 per capita tax and $52 annual local services tax will also remain the same. The final budget will be approved at the end of December. The second reading of the bank's township budget is set for the December 11th meeting. Just over the county line in Klein Township, supervisors there are also holding the line on taxes. The budget keeps real estate taxes at 10.812, according to Supervisor Dale Wessner. The budget provides an increase in pay for part-time police officer, funding the township's new storm water management program, purchase of a replacement loader for the DPW garage, grant applications for the 2018 paving project, as well as major repairs to the township garages, investments in the police pension, and a new computer system for the township secretary. The township's annual garbage and ash fee will remain at $170. Westner made note for all residents to know that the township tax rate is 10.812. Schuylkill County rate is 14.98 and the Hazleton School District rate is 35.408 which means that Klein Township only receives less than 18 cents of every dollar landowners pay in real estate property taxes. The proposed budget is on display at the township office. Supervisors will vote to adopt it in December. Lawmakers in Harrisburg are getting a raise next month. The salaries of judges and top executive branch officials, including Governor Tom Wolf, will rise in 2018. The increase, 0.8 percent. The bump takes effect December 1st for lawmakers and January 1st for judicial and executive branch officials. Highest paid, State Supreme Court Chief Justice Tom Saylor. His salary rising by $1,600 to $213,750. The governor's salary raises about $1,500 to $194 thousand eight hundred fifty although his office says he donates the money most lawmakers who are already the nation's second highest paid will see an increase of about seven hundred dollars to almost eighty seven thousand two hundred in base pay they also receive per diems and while lawmakers in leadership posts will top out at one hundred thirty six thousand dollars coming up on old cranberries news choice we're talking about the last first Friday of the year on Community and You. Plus, Christmas is really in the air. But first, let's take a look at today's winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. For the holidays, there's no better place to have your holiday party or family get-together than Basili's Italian Restaurant and Pizzeria, 401 Claremont Avenue in Tamaqua. They have remodeled the entire restaurant with a new addition and cozy fireplace to add to the holiday spirit. Just call and book your party. You'll choose your dinner from a full menu, everything from pasta, chicken, veal, and seafood. The new bar will be open with all your favorite drinks. Basili's is open seven days a week, serving lunch and dinner. Dine in or take out. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. 
Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Tickets are now on sale for the annual Sounds of the Season concert at the Alice C. Wiltsey Performing Arts Center in Hazleton. Ring in the holidays with performances by the Hazleton Philharmonic Orchestra under the direction of Robert Lagana, Fabergé Follies, Fabergé School of Dance. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for children. Sounds of the Season is brought to you by these businesses. Welcome to Community and You here on WYL and everyone, I'm Gary Pern. I'm very pleased to have Krista Snyder, the Executive Director of the Downtown Hazleton Alliance for Progress. We're talking about, well, the last first Friday of the year. Yep. And of course, uh, it falls on December 1st. December so 1st. a lot going on. We're getting into that Christmas spirit. So Krista, what can we expect for first Friday in Downtown Hazleton? Well, we are bringing back uh, what, what we call the Wassel Fest which is, um, there's that song, here we go, wassling. Yeah. So, <laughs> You're gonna do singing for us no, later, right? <laughs> not me. <laughs> but uh, the idea is that we have, we have 19 businesses downtown participating. Each one is, is serving food and drinks, mm -hmm. samples. Uh, it could be eggnog, it could be you know, a holiday punch cocktail, it could be sangria, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, every, everybody who um, purchases a tasting ticket uh, gets a tasting mug oh, cool. and a map that uh, shows all the locations and then they get a passport uh, that shows uh, that they have to get stamped at, at all locations and if they get them stamped at all then they are entered to win a drawing for a hundred dollar gift certificate at the end of the night. Wow, so that's really great. And um, do you have to, for this, uh, for the Wassel Fest, do you have to pre-register through your office? You can pre-register. Pre Tickets for the tasting are ten dollars and you can do that online okay. through our website or they could purchase them uh, that night at the door, but they're twelve dollars that night. Okay. Um, there's so each business, well, n not each, but most businesses are also hosting vendors. So we actually have another twenty-five vendors wow. that are crafters, you know, book authors, um, bakers, you name it, that selling handmade items or and uh, special gifts for for the season. So you could do all your Christmas shopping in downtown Hazleton while you socialize and have a little tasting. So. But it's perfect. I was just going to say so it's great you can come out on, on first Friday, uh, shop at your downtown businesses. Right. Of course they're so important to our downtown economy. Right. Um, have and some great food and, and some right. tasting and, and right. get it all have taken some, care of. And, and we have Christmas carols. We have the MPB players that are going to be out and about singing Christmas carols. We also have uh, the uh, all that dancing. Mm -hmm. They're going to bring their girls, and they're going to be out dancing and singing. Wonderful. So it's going to be very festive. Um, and shopping is free. You don't have to buy a, t a tasting ticket to mm -hmm. shop. You could just come and and still do the passport and still get your uh, name entered to win the prize. But if you want the tasting, then you have to do the the ticket. And of course, this is all working in conjunction with uh, what's really going on in downtown Hazleton Friday night. So we also have the Christmas tree market. Right. We got the Christmas, the city Christmas tree lighting that yep. night as well. Christmas tree lighting ceremony starts at five, uh, and the Haz the Hazleton High School chorus is going to be singing Christmas carols wow. on the steps of City Hall. Uh, for about from five to seven. So. Wonderful. So yeah. it's a great thing. And of course, our normal first Friday events that are going on, like we have all year, we have some art exhibits, some theater, some, mm -hmm. of course, the entertainment we talked about, uh, the mm -hmm. stunt show again. So, right. again, everything kind of having a Christmas theme, but we're not forgetting about our usual things that we always like to do on right. first Friday. Right. And there's something for everybody. So, um, it should be a fun night. One night, wonderful. And again, if you want more information on First Friday and you want to get uh, advanced tickets uh, for the taste, you can call Krista at 570-455-1509. Uh, go on to the website as well, of course, downtownhazleton.org. And just come out and enjoy. Have a great time at all these uh, places. And I know what all this going on, Krista, uh, but we have some um, the caroling going on. So are we going to have some uh, people dressed up in their Christmas spirit? Well, there is an ugly sweater uh contest that's taking place at the Sage Exchange 
that evening. In fact, there's a photo booth, so you could go get your picture taken, <laughs> get get your Christmas card photo taken, <laughs> and enter the ugly sweater uh, contest. So that would be fun. I think Santa's is going to make an appearance at City Hall. Wonderful. So it should be quite festive. We'll have a lot going on, of course, in downtown Hazel. Of course, first Friday, December first. Uh, I'll kick it off around about five o'clock. If we miss anything, Krista? I think you got it. All right, wonderful. So again, a lot going on in downtown Hazleton this Friday, December first for first Friday, and of course, uh, you want more information downtown Hazel org, where you can give Krista a call at the chamber. Thanks for joining us on Community New York, everyone. We'll see you next time. into the region's most trusted health network. Santa Paws for Autism, Sunday, December 3rd from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. at WYLN TV Studios, 1059 East 10th Street in Hazleton. Donations to Paws for a Cause for Autism will go towards the purchase of a service dog for an autistic child. In addition, we'll be collecting pet supplies that day for the Hazleton Animal Shelter for Christmas, and there'll be loads of tricky trays. So stop by the WYLN Studios, Sunday, December 3rd from 11 to 4. For more information, Call 570-401-3970. Your Marine Corps way of life is to defend the American way of life. Every day, we take a stand for our nation, for each other, for us all. The few, the proud, the Marines. Christmas music will be filling the halls of one area church this coming Sunday afternoon. Freeland Presbyterian Church will be hosting a community-wide Advent Christmas Song Fest. It features a lineup of great performers and everyone is invited to attend. This is a non-denominational uh, service. We are emphasizing the music and song of the season to get everybody to slow down a little bit and to get everybody into the spirit of Christmas. We have uh, various area talent that will be uh, singing and performing, including Danny DeMelfi. His, one of his uh, prize students, his star student, Vanessa Vacoso, Mr. John Layton. We will have the bell choir from St. John Bosco Church in Cunningham. We will have uh, Mary Jo Cross, who is one of the cantors at St. John Bosco, will be our leader of the congregational singing here. Uh, we have the MMI string quartet, as well as the MMI choir will be singing also. And if that's not enough, cookies and desserts follow the song fest. Attendees can also make a donation that will go toward supporting two great causes in the area. A uh, free will offering and part of the offering will go to the Rotary Club for their uh, Christmas basket program, which is very, very valuable to the community. And also part of it will go to the food cupboard. And we know that there's great need, particularly at this time of the year and every time of the year, of, the, of course, <laughs> uh, for that. So. Uh, it's a free will offering. You don't need to give. We just want you to come and enjoy this season together and really get into the spirit of uh, Christmas. And again, that song fest is this Sunday, December 3rd, 2.30 at Freeland Presbyterian Church, 625 Front Street. For more information, you can contact Reverend Glenn at 570-520-4669. The Helping Hand Society and J&J &J Auction hosting an annual holiday event this Friday, December 1st. The auction benefits services provided to the children at Helping Hands. It features a live auction, an ugly sweater holiday contest, appetizers and drinks, and there will also be a cash bar. 
Doors open at 5. The live auction begins at 6. It's at Janetti Catering, 1345 North Church Street in Hazleton. Admission is free, but if you would like reserved seating, you should contact Nicole Warner at 570-455-4958. The Ringtown Valley Rescue and Fire Company will be escorting Santa this year throughout the Ringtown Valley. Sal Santa will be out and about Friday, December 15th and Saturday the 16th from 6 to 9 p.m. If you would like Santa to visit your home and children, you're asked to call the Ringtown Firehouse at 570-889-3245 to schedule a visit. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WYLN News. For over 25 years, Whitetail Preserve Shooting Range, 118 Boulevard Road, Bloomsburg, has provided professionally designed skeet, trap, and sporting clay fields. All stations are handicapped accessible with resident NRA certified shooting instructors on site. There are packages available to fit anyone's budget, restaurant and catering on site. Our facility is also available for weddings, business meetings, bachelor and private parties. Call 570-384-2314. WYLNCA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN, 1057 East 10th Street, Hazleton, PA, during normal business hours, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. When is the best time to buy? It's now. The year-end vehicle eradication at Burger Family Dealerships. 2017 Buick LaCrosse. 17% off MSRP, save over $7,000. 2017 Buick Envisions, lease them for $299 a month. 2017 GMC Sierra, high elevation package, double cab, lease it for $349 a month. When is the best time to buy? It's now. The year-end vehicle eradication at Burger Family Dealerships. Route 93, Hazleton. Want to watch WYLN over the air with an antenna? These maps make it easy for you to check out our over the air UHF coverage area using the Longley Rice propagation mode. All of our broadcast and cable maps can be found on our Facebook page and on WYLNTV.com. Scream out. 